Okay guys, the following video you're about to see is a video of me replacing my PV-115Hs uh, with some Black Widows. This is the finished product. You're going to see how I did it, but um, you know, to be quite honest with you, the story of the reason why I wanted to do this was I actually re found out that I had a second Black Widow in one of those, um, one of those community monitors over there. I had a very nice EV Wolfer and I had a very nice Black Widow. I took it apart and I looked at it. I'm like, holy crap! There's Black Widow. There's a Black Widow in here, and they had the EV. So these were definitely upgraded. Of course, though, they weren't matching pairs, so I didn't really care for them. Now, you might notice the dust cap on there is silver. The dust cap on that is black. Uh, unfortunately, they're not matching. But that is a 1980s PV uh, Black Widow. That's a 1990s PV Black Widow. That was reconed at some point. I mean, they're both 1980s PV, but that was a 1990s recone kit. So someone blew this one out and reconed it, which is good because you, it doesn't have the aluminum dust cap on it. Um, this one gave me some issues. Uh, I actually had to take the magnet off and clean the insides out with some rubbing alcohol because it was jammed. Um, that KB that Black Widow came out of my KB300 down there, which now has an EV woofer, a very nice EV woofer. And, um, well, let's just say it was well worth it. Not gonna lie, guys. I mean, this was definitely worth the setup. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, but just so, just hold on real quickly before we get any more into the video. You might be wondering, well, I thought you said the Scorpions were fine for what you're doing. Why'd you need, why'd you need Black Widows? Well, one major thing. I go to a variety of gigs, okay? I do a lot of DJing, and I'm also in two other bands. The two bands that I play in are pretty much known across casinos. One's a smaller one, one is a pretty large one that goes to Foxwoods and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, normally when I go to those huge concert gigs, I don't normally bring these guys. But when I do go to the bigger gigs, these are my go-to speakers. And they need to pump. I mean, pump. If they don't provide what I want them to, then that's going to suck. Now, another reason why is because they, they, the Scorpions did just fine with the, um... Scorpions did fine with the, uh, the jazz music, but there's another reason. I go to a lot of DJ gigs. Of course, a lot of DJ gigs require a lot of newer, popish kind of, like, rap music, and all those songs are total trash, I must admit, but... They all have a lot of bass, and the Black Widows just annihilate the shit out of those notes. I mean, you could not ask for anything that could hit lowers any better that could fit in these cases. And quite frankly, I think the upgrade was right, good. I see, definitely worth it. Excuse me for stuttering there. But I hope that uh, I'm going to test these out tomorrow because it is currently late at night. But just to give you a heads up, the video you're going to see is very jumping around. Uh, mainly because I was kind of in the middle of swapping woofers between all these sets. Like, I put the Scorpions in those guys. Those are some 15 stage monitors, and I figured, you know, I have no idea why those have such overpowered woofers in them, but they really shouldn't if they're just going to be for vocals. So I put the Scorpions in there. I put the really nice EV woofer in the KV300, and I put the Black Widows in the PV115Hs. And quite frankly, I'm very satisfied with the configuration I've just consumed, and I think it'll do me just well. Anyhow, I think that these guys will hold up great in future gigs. That guy's still making a bit of a scratching sound. Um, the woofer's not locked up anymore, but it is making some weird sounds, so I'm going to have to take it apart. And I might just drench it in mineral oil, let it sit for a while, lubricate it, and then try to grind all the crap out of it. Worst comes to worst, I'll just buy a new magnet piece. I mean, they're shipped in flat rate boxes. They're pretty cheap. Their shipping's free. So, I could probably get a new magnet if worst comes to worst. But for right now, it seems to be a little scratchy. Nothing too bad. Um, these KB, these, um, not the KB, but the, these particular Black Widows from the 80s tend to have some pretty nasty problems uh, with locking up. Um, the, if you refoam them with a newer kit, you're fine, but the things that these guys like to do is, um, they just, I don't know what it is, but they use this foam, here, I'll show you what I mean, 
here. I think this speaker has it. This is this is a speaker I have to refoam, but it's a good example. Oh, this guy doesn't have it. All right, never mind. But there's um, I'll show you in here. Oh, that's really hard. So right here, there's a little uh, a little windscreen. It allows air to come in and out while the woofer is doing its bass notes. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it sounds good. Um, and the PV uses foam to help uh, insulate it and to help um, prevent garbage from getting in there. After a while, that foam in that little slot right there dissolved and it just turned to mush. And I guess when I put this guy in storage for a while, I mean, this thing's not in the best of shape. When I put it in the storage for a while, that foam got lodged in the woofer, and it it just went ahead and just corroded and got lodged in the voice coil. I took some rubbing alcohol, got rid of all that crap, and it seems to be working fine. It's still a little bit rubby, but tomorrow I plan to be blasting some really bad bass out of this guy. So hopefully that'll get rid of all the excess crap still lodged in there. Um, commonly when you blast low frequencies through these guys, um, through any speaker, matter of fact, if you blow low frequencies and there's crap lodged to like dirt and debris in the device coil, commonly it'll get rid of it. Um, but you need to do it for a while. Um, so I'm at about eight hours. So I'm going to be blasting some bassy crap through these guys. Not just to see how much the Black Widows will pump, but just to overall see to get rid of that crap and that woofer. But it'll be an experiment. And anyhow, without more rambling, I like to get on with the video. So I present to you the stupidest and most random placed video of all. Upgrading my PV 115s or 115 Hs to PV Black Widows. Alright, so we got the uh, 115s opened here. I've never actually seen what the inside of these guys look like, but holy Christ, are they clean! Clean as a whistle. I mean, wow, these things are really clean. I know I got these things from a very close friend. Very good shape. I'm very happy to own these. But here's what a scorpion looks like, if you guys are curious. Keep in mind, that is a 15-inch woofer. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this doesn't really hit the bases so well. And you can kind of tell why. It's got a pathetic woofer on it. I mean, it's okay for vocals. I'm probably going to remove this from that one and this from the other one and put them in these community monitors because these things are perfect as uh, for vocals. But uh, considering that these had black widows in them, come on, what the fuck? There's absolutely no need for such a woofer. So that's what the, uh, the scorpion looks like. That's what a black widow looks like. So yeah, definitely much of an upgrade. I had to do a little jury rig here. Now there's a crossover. I think that's actually, I don't think there's a crossover in this guy. I'm not seeing one, so I might actually upgrade this guy in the near future to put a crossover in it. I might do that. But as you can see down there, I, got the, I actually had to reroute this cable to the tweeters because these originally plugged into the subwoofers. So I'm going to have to splice and dice these, and we're going to plug this into the sub. We're going to see how well this sounds. I'll be right back. I cannot explain to you how much better the sound quality is out of these guys. Keep in mind, this is the fixed woofer, and uh, wow, is that an upgrade. <laughs> Holy crap. These sound 15 times better than they did before. I mean, holy crap, do they really have improved in sound quality. So I'm definitely very proud of this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the other one. i got to take the other one out of there. So let's get started on that, shall we? Okay, guys, the PVs are packed together, and they got the Black Widows in them. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to test the audio yet because my grandma is asleep and it is currently 11 o'clock at night. But um, tomorrow morning I'll jam these things out. I'll probably do a new test video of what they sound like. Uh, blasting a song called Turbo Tranny, which is a song that one of Poo Poo Garrett's uh, friends made. Uh, I don't know his exact YouTube channel, but he, it's a really good song for sweeping frequencies. Um, a lot of people might think, oh, it's a bass test song. Well, not necessarily. Um, it has a lot of high frequencies as well as a lot of low frequencies. And we'll be able to test how much these things can pump. Because when I took these things apart and looked at the Scorpions, 
keep in mind, this is the first time I ever took these things apart. Um, the Scorpions looked really cheap. I mean, I know they were PVs. I guess they were PV, which kind of cut back on them. But the Black Widows, oh, they're worth it. I mean, the speakers did gain an extra 40 pounds. <laughs> not, not, just saying, you know. But it was definitely worth it, considering that the sound quality of these are just going to be so kick-ass. This particular Black Widow might actually replace. Um, I did fix it. I did get it working again. Unfortunately, though, there is a slight essence of rubbing, so what I might do is I might actually do the old-fashioned way of clearing out these speakers and play like a 60 hertz hum at full blast on this guy and see if that helps clean out the voice coil residence. But it's no longer locked up. It's just got some more crap in there. I didn't get all of it out. And worse comes to worse, I'll take it apart and I'll clean the crap out some more. But yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised how cheap those tweeters are. I mean, the tweeters are pretty cheap. They're dual piezo tweeters, but they're kind of cheap. No, not the match. Those Black Widows do not match. They are both, uh, this is from the 80s, that one's from the 90s, but they're both very, very good woofers. Um, so what I actually did was, because this Black Widow, well, my camera's out of focus, came out of this guy, my KB300, and um, I decided to put my EV woofer in there, which is a nice woofer. 15 inches, pretty beefy woofer. So I put my EV in there. And yeah, I took this, and I took the other black widow out of this guy down over here, and I put the scorpions and the stage monitors, uh, the communities. Now this is a downgrade for these, but to be quite honest, I don't even come close to seeing a reason why you would need such an overpowered, um, such overpowered uh, wedges. So these are definitely a little bit more. I guess Vol these these black the uh, scorpions are really good for vocals, but oh boy, the black widows kick some ass. Um, I'm gonna hope I can buy a, a 15, an 18 inch black widow and put it in this guy. Right now I got a JBL Pro Series 18 inch in this Sirwin Vega cab, a Sirwin Vega bass scoop. It's kind of an interesting bass scoop. It compresses it and shoots it out. Kind of an interesting bass scoop, but it's a turd nonetheless. I mean, it's not that great. But tomorrow will be the day we hear the uh, full glory of these. I mean, I did test them out a little bit after I put them together to test for air cabinet leaks or air leaks in the cabs. I found no air leaks in them, and I'm not gonna lie, they sound pretty damn good. I mean, holy crap. Um, the reason why I wanted to upgrade these to Black Widows was mainly the factor that um, they didn't sound that great. I mean, with with the uh, the Scorpions in them, they sounded okay. I mean, they weren't fantastic, but they sounded okay. Um, I definitely think the Black Widows were well worth the upgrades because, um, you know, the Scorpions were good, and these, I mean, they were good for playing rock music and kind of mid-range-ish, but... I mean, compared to all the gigs that I'm going to, I'm going to a variety of gigs. Some of them require a lot of jazz. For my both my bands play jazz. And some of them, at the DJ gigs that I go to, require a lot of bass. And I'm sick and tired of lugging this hunk of crap around. This is my KB300. And the KB300 is a little heavy. I mean, it's very heavy. So I figured, you know what? I would upgrade these woofers. See how they perform and... Holy shit, did they perform nice. I even uh, I even took the Black Widow Equipped logo off of there and I stuck it on here. Just to, you know, show it off a little. I actually bought two of these on eBay, so they should be arriving soon. I'll go ahead and stick one on there. And the other one will be just a spare. But I decided, you know what, it's a little crooked, whatever. But I decided, you know what, if I'm going to own Black Widows and these guys, I might as well put the logos on, the Black Widow Equipped logos. I mean, just to show it off a bit, you know? Um, these are Black Widows. I mean, they sound good. Very, very good compared to the Scorpions. I mean, the Scorpions were good, but they were not meant for what these guys are meant for. Um, believe it or not, these 15-inch Black Widows outperform the 18-inch JBL Pro Series they got in that cabinet over there. It's kind of funny, actually. And I'm not going to lie, 
Those things pump. So I'm going to play a little bit of Turbo Tranny tomorrow. I'll give you guys an overall sound test. As for now, though, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. It's getting kind of late at night. I don't know what time it is. It's 12.11. Excuse me. It's not even 11 o'clock. It's 12.11. So, yeah. It's 12 o'clock. I didn't know. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sorry that I this video was very jumpy. I was kind of all over the place. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. And uh, I think I might have to go ahead and drench it with mineral oil and lubricate it and see if I can... Oh my fucking god, I just dropped a $300 fucking XLR mic. Oh my god. Oh, I hate myself. This is my best mic I own. Uh, I better be okay. It's a Sennheiser, so it should be, should be built pretty good. Oh my god. Wow. I hope that still works. I'm gonna kill myself if it doesn't. Holy shit. I was, uh, screwing around with this thing and I flipped it off. Well, that's gonna be a blooper.